Ever since man invented money, we have been looking for more exorbitant ways to spend it. An amazing testimony to man's ingenuity to combine pleasure with functionality has been the concept of the cruise ship. From the beautiful Queen Mary to the infamous Titanic, cruise ships have always been marvels of engineering, with little to no thought being given to how these massive behemoths of iron and steel were constructed and deployed to the ocean and much less thought given to how the ship operates and caters to every passenger's whims and fancies. With cruise ships becoming larger with every passing year, they aim to offer bigger and better luxurious experiences to those who are willing to spend some old Ben Franklin's on them. Being so, the icon of the seas from the Royal Caribbean Company is set to provide the most luxurious experience ever seen a true icon. Even so, how are these gigantic beauties assembled? How many people does it take to make such a titan function? Let's we dive in and find the answer to your questions. Cruise ships have become an ever-growing business industry with more and more people from around the world queuing up to spend money on these mini islands that travel to any corner that would accept them. Things are not as easily done as said though it takes a highly dedicated team and years of paperwork, planning, executing and constructing to deploy one of these amazing structures. We will be looking into the latest star from the Royal Caribbean International Cruise Ship Company, the Icon of the Seas, the latest addition to their line of luxury cruise liners, which is set to be the largest one in the world. Let us look into the planning, designing, construction and features to understand how the largest cruise ship in the world is built. Planning Planning for the biggest cruise ship in the world started as far back as 2016. The Royal Caribbean International President and CEO Michael Bailey had remarked that it was the culmination of seven years of planning during the handing over of the ship from the Mia Turku shipyard Finland where it was being obstructed into the hands of the company. The ship's maiden voyage is set to sail on the 27th of January 2024 as of right now. Designing Designing the largest cruise ship in the world is nothing short of an oceanic task to accomplish. Having to accommodate 2300 crew and an estimated 7600 guests, the company is not only responsible for meeting guests' needs, but their expectations as well. This takes work, and that's exactly why Royal Caribbean International hired engineers in the thousands to ensure that all the technical aspects of the ship are covered. Construction Let's start by first looking at the predecessor of the Icon of the Seas, the Wonder of the Seas. The construction of the latter took nearly three years, starting in 2019 and ending in 2022. It was the largest ship up by gross tonnage until the Icon of the Seas was unveiled and constructed. The Icon of the Seas outranks the Wonder of the Seas in gross tonnage alone by 20,000. But the main feature that separates the Icon of the Seas from its predecessors is its eco-friendly approach. The new propulsion systems on the cruise is 30% less on carbon emissions and 100% less on sulfur emissions. The construction for the Icon of the Seas began in June 20, 21 with steel cutting. The first of the six LNG engines was installed onto the ship in October 20, 21 at Neptune Werft, Germany. The ship is the first of its kind to run sustainably being able to run on distillate fuel and other alternative fuel sources like fuel cells. The ship was towed and the latter of the construction took place in Mayaturku shipyard in Finland, one of the most modern shipyards in the world. It is the second time Royal Caribbean International has joined Mayaturku in cruise construction as they had collaborated nearly 13 years ago when building the Allure of the Seas. Cruise ships, being larger than life structures, have to be constructed tactfully. The entire ship is not built together, but rather built separately and assembled and attached to the hull of the ship. This way, 
the ship segments can be individually adjusted to meet specific requirements before permanently welding them on. In terms of raw specifications, this ship has a gross tonnage of 251,000, a length of 1,197 feet, and a top speed of 22 knots, which equates to about 25 miles per hour, or 45 kilometers per hour. It has also included heat recovery systems, but the most impressive part of the construction is the sheer capacity of people it can host at once. With a staggering capacity to host 5,160 guests at double occupancy and 7,600 guests all in all, given all berths are occupied. The Icon of the Seas is set to start its own mini-country and in addition to this supporting 2,300 staff live on board as well in triples or quads. The ship also follows wisely in the context of safety measures with the very recent tragedy of the Ocean Gate submersible implosion where five people died, all maritime engineering companies have made an extra effort to include better safety features for all waterbound vessels, and the icon of the seas is no exception to this. The cruise comes with advanced navigation systems and has improved lifeboat and evacuation procedures. Safety measures have been set into place to minimize the risk of any sort of accidents happening while evacuating the ship. With a total of 2,805 guest rooms and 1,405 balconies, the cruise is set to be the pinnacle of comfort. Room options range from cozy interior staterooms to large double-storied suite staterooms with stunning views. Cabin quarters have been upgraded dramatically so that all crew have basic amenities to the maximum and some more. With activities for the crew like an outdoor bar, VR games, and a multifunctional room, this cruise aims not only to satisfy guests, but also to give the crew the most hospitable working conditions. Because of course, a ship can only run as well as its crew does. Features You can't talk about the biggest cruise shop in the world without talking about what it has to offer in terms of entertainment, comfort, and luxury. With 18 decks of fun to explore, all the features of the ship can't be contained in a single video. The icon of the seas comes adorned with the Aquadome, arguably the crowning jewel of the cruise. It is the largest glass structure to ever be attached to a cruise ship in which the water shows are set to take place. With a shape-shifting waterfall taller than 55 feet, in addition to being surrounded by water, the icon of the seas hosts seven pools altogether with each for every mood, from kiddie pools to let your children play and have fun to breathtaking infinity pools that merge the ship and the boundless ocean into one vast expanse with us in the middle of it. The cruise also has its ice rink, which has been named Absolute Zero, where spectacular live shows of dancers doing gravity-defying spins and maneuvers take place most days. The cruise also hosts several venues for Broadway shows, dramas, stand-up comedy, live music, etc. Whatever you are in the mood for, this cruise has you covered. Exploring any of the eight neighborhoods will reveal more and more interesting activities on board the cruise. From full-fledged water parks to activities like the Crown's Edge, a death-defying activity where you are made to walk a ramp that could give out at any moment, leaving you dangling above the cold or scene. The number of activities that are to be done on board the cruise is truly endless. With new experiences and long-lasting memories being imparted, the Icon of the Seas also proudly boasts of its dining facilities. With 20 different outlets available for dining, from fine dining to fast food, everything is available. The company assures quality food services along with memorable experiences if one chooses to dine at any one of the numerous outlets available on the cruise. As the saying goes, Rome was not built in a day and neither are these cruise ships. Ships like the Icon of the Seas take several years of planning and execution to properly succeed.
The inception of this cruise took place in 2016, and the first steps toward its construction only began in 2021 and did not complete until late 2022. From its planning to its construction, every steep has to be reviewed and taken care of to avoid mishaps happening while out on the ocean. Please remember to like this video, share it with your friends, and subscribe to this channel if you're interested in similar topics. L, what do you think about the biggest cruise ship in the world? Comment down below.